Good morning. Today, we're diving into a major weather headline that's about to impact millions of people across the globe. Big news from the Pacific Ocean. La Nina is making a comeback, and it's going to shape our winter in ways you might not expect. Meteorologists have been tracking the cooling waters of the Pacific, and the signs are clear. La Nina is on the horizon, and its effects are already starting to ripple through the atmosphere. This isn't just a quirky weather term, La Nina is a powerful climate pattern that can flip your winter plans upside down. It's known for bringing dramatic changes, think sudden snowstorms, unexpected dry spells and temperature swings that can catch even seasoned locals off guard. When La Nina arrives it cools the Pacific and sends shockwaves through global weather, changing everything from snow totals to drought risk. The jet stream shifts, steering storms in new directions and altering rainfall patterns across continents. Some areas brace for relentless storms, while others face months of dry, parched conditions. For winter, 2025 to 2026, all signs point to La Nina taking charge, so it's time to get ready. Experts are already warning that this season could be one for the record books, with weather extremes that could challenge our usual routines. Think of it as the planet's thermostat turning down, with ripple effects for storms, temperatures, and rainfall. The atmosphere responds in complex ways, creating a domino effect that can be felt from the tropics to the poles. Some regions will see heavy snow, others will be left dry. La Nina's impact is unpredictable, but always significant. The northern U.S. might get buried in snow, while the southern states could see warmer, drier conditions. Meanwhile, other parts of the world will experience their own unique weather twists. This is part of the natural Enso cycle swinging us back to the cool side after El Nino. These cycles are like the heartbeat of our planet's climate, alternating between warm and cool phases and driving weather patterns worldwide. Farmers, city planners and families alike need to pay attention. La Nina affects everything from heating bills to commutes. It can influence crop yields, energy demand, and even the way we plan our daily lives. Whether you're managing a farm, running a city, or just trying to keep your home cozy, La Nina's reach is everywhere. Over the next few minutes, we'll break down what the models say, what to expect, and how to prepare. We'll look at the latest forecasts, explore the science behind La Nina, and share practical tips to help you stay ahead of the weather curve. So grab your coffee, La Nina is on its way, and it's time to get ready for a winter that could be anything but ordinary. Let's dig into how La Nina shakes up the world's weather. This isn't just a local event, it's a global phenomenon that sets off a chain reaction, influencing weather patterns on nearly every continent. When La Nina arrives it's like flipping a switch in the planet's climate system and the effects ripple outwards in surprising ways. Picture the Pacific as a giant engine. La Nina revs it up, strengthening trade winds and piling warm water near Asia. These powerful winds push the ocean's warmest waters westward, away from the Americas, and toward the coasts of Indonesia and Australia. This shift doesn't just affect the ocean, it changes the very air above it, setting the stage for dramatic weather changes. As the warm water moves west, cold, nutrient-rich water wells up to the surface off South America. This upwelling cools the eastern Pacific, creating a vast patch of chilly ocean that acts like a giant air conditioner for the atmosphere above. The cooler water not only affects marine life and fisheries, but it also alters wind patterns and cloud formation, changing the weather far beyond the Pacific. That cool patch shifts the jet stream, the high-altitude river of air that steers storms. The jet stream is like a fast-moving highway in the sky, guiding weather systems across continents. When La Nina is in play, this highway bends and twists in new directions, sending storms and cold snaps to places that might not expect them. In North America the polar jet stream moves north, bringing cold stormy weather to the northern US and southern Canada, while the south turns warmer and drier. This means more snow and ice for cities like Chicago and Minneapolis, while places like Texas and California may see droughts and unseasonably warm days. Farmers, city planners and everyday people all feel the impact, from heating bills to water supplies. In Europe, La Nina often triggers a blocking high near Greenland, blocking mild Atlantic air and letting Arctic cold sweep in. This high-pressure system acts like a wall, stopping warmer, wetter air from reaching the continent and opening the door for frigid winds from the north. The result? Harsher winters, more snow and longer cold spells for much of northern and central Europe. Cities from Berlin to Warsaw can see blizzards and icy roads, 
while rural areas face deep snow drifts and frozen rivers, these conditions can disrupt travel, close schools and challenge even the most prepared communities. It's a domino effect. One ocean shift triggers global weather changes from ski booms in the Rockies to travel headaches in Europe. Airlines scramble to keep flights on schedule while ski resorts celebrate bumper seasons. The ripple effects touch everything from tourism to transportation and even the food on our tables. These aren't just scientific curiosities, they're real forces that shape our lives every winter. Whether you're shoveling your driveway, bundling up your kids or planning a winter road trip, La Nina's influence is felt in daily routines and big decisions alike. Understanding these impacts helps you know what to expect when you step outside this season. By paying attention to La Nina, you can better prepare for what's ahead, whether it's a snowstorm, a dry spell, or just another day in the ever-changing world of weather. The big question, will it be cold? For much of the Northern Hemisphere, La Nina means yes, get ready for a chill. The polar jet stream dips south, opening the door for Arctic air to sweep into the northern U.S. and Canada. Cities like Minneapolis, Chicago, and Buffalo can expect persistent cold, not just a few icy days. That means higher heating bills and a need to winterize your home now. In Europe, a blocking pattern near Greenland slams the door on mild air, letting Siberian winds bring deep freezes. The beast from the east can grip the UK, Scandinavia, and Central Europe in a long, harsh winter. Not every day will be frigid, but the season's average will be colder than recent years, especially after warmer El Nino winters. So, as winter 2025 to 2026 approaches, prepare for a season that packs a colder punch, especially in northern latitudes. Bundle up and get ready. Let's talk precipitation, rain, and snow. La Nina's jet stream brings a parade of storms to the Pacific Northwest and Northern Rockies, promising a wet, snowy season. Great for ski resorts and water supplies but also a risk for avalanches and flooding. Meanwhile the southern U.S. is left dry, California, Texas and Florida can expect warmer, drier conditions. This can worsen droughts, stress water supplies and raise wildfire risks, especially in spring. The north gets a feast of moisture, the south faces famine. This sharp contrast is a classic La Nina signature, creating two sets of challenges across the country. It impacts everything from agriculture to tourism. As winter 2025 to 2026 nears, this north-south split in precipitation is a key feature to watch. Prepare for extremes whichever side you're on. In Europe, the jet stream's path during La Nina is the wild card that can completely reshape the continent's winter weather. Unlike more predictable patterns, the jet stream's behavior is influenced by a complex mix of ocean temperatures, atmospheric pressure, and even distant weather events. This means that each La Nina winter can play out differently, keeping meteorologists and weather watchers on their toes. A blocking high near Greenland or Iceland can disrupt the usual west-to-east flow forcing the jet stream to meander. These high-pressure systems act like atmospheric roadblocks, causing the jet stream to bend, loop, and sometimes stall for days or even weeks. This can split the jet stream, one branch heads north, another dives south over the Mediterranean, bringing storms to Spain and Italy. The southern branch can funnel moisture-laden air from the Atlantic, fueling intense rain and even flooding in southern Europe, while the north stays relatively dry. Meanwhile, northern and central Europe get stuck under cold, dry air from the east, leading to severe cold spells and biting winds. These conditions can last for weeks, making daily life challenging and increasing energy demands as people try to stay warm. If the blocking high sets up just right, cold air meets southern moisture, triggering heavy snow from the UK to Eastern Europe. These snowfalls can be sudden and intense, catching cities off guard and blanketing entire regions in white. These are the snow events that shut down airports and cities, halting travel and disrupting daily routines. Schools close, roads become impassable, and the economy can take a hit as people hunker down and wait for the weather to clear, but it's not guaranteed. Other factors like the North Atlantic Oscillation can change the outcome. This powerful climate pattern can either reinforce or weaken the blocking high, making the difference between a harsh winter and a milder one. Sometimes the block is weak, leading to a more variable winter. In these years, Europe can swing between mild, rainy spells and brief cold snaps, making it hard to predict what each week will bring. Forecasting Europe's winter is tricky, but La Nina tilts the odds toward a colder, blockier pattern. Still, every year is a new puzzle and even small shifts in the jet stream can have big impacts on the ground. 
That's why meteorologists will be watching the jet stream closely as winter approaches, looking for early signs of blocking highs or sudden shifts that could signal a dramatic change in Europe's winter weather story. Why can't we always predict La Nina early? It's the spring predictability barrier. From March to May, forecast models struggle. Signals are weak, and small changes can flip the outlook. The ocean and atmosphere are in transition, making long-range forecasts unreliable. That's why meteorologists talk probabilities, not certainties, in spring. By late summer, the signals strengthen, models agree, and confidence grows. Now in August 2025, we're past the barrier, La Nina is on the way, and the forecast is much clearer. Let's look at the numbers. As of August 2025, major climate centers put the odds of La Nina this winter at 75%. That's a strong signal. Three out of four winters with these conditions would see La Nina. The chance of a surprise El Nino is less than 5%. Most models predict a moderate strength La Nina, which means classic patterns, cold and snowy north, warm and dry south, and a higher chance of a cold European winter. These probabilities come from supercomputers crunching global data. A 75% chance is a confident forecast, one we need to take seriously. It's the foundation for our winter outlook and helps everyone plan ahead. Even with a strong forecast, remember this is a big picture outlook, not a daily forecast. La Nina sets the stage, but local details can change, so stay tuned for updates. Meteorologists will track the Pacific closely, watching for any shifts that could alter the winter pattern. Think of the forecast as a blueprint. It shows the layout, but not every detail. As winter nears, forecasts get more specific, so check your local weather regularly. Monthly updates from NOAA and others will refine the outlook. Small shifts can mean big changes for your region. Stay informed, stay prepared, and don't assume one forecast is the final word. We'll keep you updated every step of the way. To wrap up, La Nina is returning and will drive the winter of 2025 to 2026. For the northern U.S. and southern Canada, expect a colder, snowier winter, get your coats and snowblowers ready. Northern and central Europe should also prepare for more cold snaps and snow. The southern U.S. faces a warmer, drier winter, raising drought and wildfire risks. Water conservation and fire safety are key. This classic La Nina North-South divide will shape the season. The best thing you can do? Pay attention, prepare your home and family and stay updated. We'll keep watching the data and bring you the latest. Stay safe, stay warm, and be ready for whatever winter brings.